welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you another video in the things I wish I would have known series and this time it's the things I wish I would have known about an epidural. I made a few of these videos um, during my pregnancy about things like I wish I would have known about my first trimester, second trimester, etc. And then the things I wish I would have known about labor. And there were just so many things that I wish I would have known about getting an epidural that I didn't that I didn't know before. Not that they necessarily would have swayed my decision to get an epidural, but I think it would have just felt a little more empowering. And there were just things that happened where I was like, oh my gosh, like no one ever mentions this. Everyone always talks about how great an epidural is and how, you know, you'll feel no pain at all. So many things happen though during my labor experience that I was like, wait a minute. No one ever mentioned these things, and so hopefully you find them really helpful. And before we jump into it, just want to mention, of course, all of the things that I'm going to talk about come from my own experience. I had a vaginal delivery, um, but I had an episiotomy, a fourth degree tear, and I did end up having an epidural. I didn't have a great experience with the epidural, so again, like a lot of these things sort of come from that experience. And if you had an epidural but had a different experience than me, I would be really interested to know if there are things that you agree with or disagree with or things that you could add to this list. So definitely leave those down in the comments below. But yeah, let's jump into the things that I wish I would have known about getting an epidural. So the first thing is that it won't take all of your pain away. I wish I would have known that getting an epidural isn't a save all or isn't like the like get out of jail free card that you're still going to feel pain and you're still going to feel contractions. Now this is a tricky one because I had so many people before I gave birth, I had so many people tell me, don't be a hero. If you feel like you want the epidural, get the epidural because I had the epidural and I didn't feel anything. It was amazing. I felt no pain. Baby came straight out and it was great. And not to discredit their experiences because again like everyone has a different experience and everyone's body interacts differently with the epidural so you could have a very different experience than me but i never heard the flip side of that i never heard the you know it's possible that you will feel pain it's possible that your epidural will only last for x amount of time and that's what happened with me my epidural only lasted an hour and a half before it wore off and i got two top-ups um, and then I wish I would have known that, and I don't know if this is with all doctors or with all hospitals, but my midwife and the doc in the hospital that I was in um, wanted the epidural to wear off before I started pushing so that I could actually feel the baby and like feel the pushing, which like jokes on us because I didn't feel any of those things still. Um, frustratingly enough, I felt the contractions but never felt the urge to push nor did I like actually feel the baby. So that was weird. But yeah, I wish I would have known that getting the epidural wasn't going to be wasn't going to mean that I was going to have an easy delivery and wasn't going to mean that I was going to have, wasn't going to feel any of the pain because I still felt all of the pain. I just like had a numb left leg. Here's a funny one that I wish I would have known about the epidural. I wish I would have known that one of the side effects is intense itching. The anesthesiologist, I think is the one who gives the epidural. When he came in to administer the epidural, he said, one of the side effects is itching. And I was like, oh, okay, like, that's weird. No one ever talks about that or mentions that. And boy, they're not kidding. Although I must say, at that point in labor, just the relief of not feeling the contractions, I was like, I don't even care. Like, I will take the itching any day. But it is really intense itching. It really does feel like you have, like, either poison ivy or mosquito bites all over your body. For me, it felt a little bit like a heat rash, like, like how I've experienced heat rashes in the past where, like, I get really hot and really, really itchy. So yeah, I wish I would have known that that was a side effect because that's like, it just isn't something that I knew or had ever heard of and apparently it's very common. <laughs> and then another thing I wish I would have known about the epidural, sort of kind of going back to the first point in terms of like it not taking away all your pain, is that it it's possible that your epidural will numb out parts of your body that doesn't include your uterus. So bizarre. Uh, and this was something that I kept mentioning to the nurses and was like a weird, like, just a weird thing. I was like, why, why am I still feeling my contractions, but my left leg is so numb? So I got the epidural and, you know, at first I didn't feel like, didn't feel the contractions, everything was fine. Then after about an hour, 15 minutes, hour and a half, I would start to feel the contractions, but I couldn't feel my legs or I couldn't feel my butt. And at one point my left leg was so, so numb and my butt was so numb. And they were saying like, oh, maybe it's, you know, the way you're sitting or like where the medication is getting distributed. And so I would try to like 
switch sides and lay on one side and then lay on the other, but it really didn't make a difference. Like at the end of the day, it's still, like I still just had a left numb leg. My butt was still pretty numb, but I could feel the contraction. So I don't know. Again, that might just be like how my body interacted with the epidural, but it would have been, I don't know. I would have liked to have known that, I guess, it's possible that like parts of your body could get so, so numb, but again, it will have no consequence on your contractions. Like you'll still feel those. And again, I sort of touched on this, but I wish I would have known that the epidural wears off. I thought that when you get an epidural and you know, maybe I'm like, maybe I'm alone in thinking this, although I really don't think I am. I was really under the impression that, you know, you get an epidural once it numbs out your lower half you won't feel your contractions and you'll have like a magical birthing experience and that'll be that and you won't feel any pain um that couldn't be further from the truth and i wish i would have known that the epidural does wear off after about two hours or that was my experience and that you will either have to get a top off or they'll just want it to wear off so that you can feel feel yourself pushing so yeah, I wish I would have known that. Again, I don't know if it would have swayed my decision. Maybe it would sway yours because I mean, when all was said and done, I did feel like what was the point of the epidural? Like what was the point if, if it was gonna wear off and if they were gonna have it wear off anyway, like during the worst part, then like what's the point? Now granted, I do, like I did get some good naps in. So I did think that that was really beneficial. And I don't know if I would have been able to push for as long as I did, I pushed for two like two and a half two hours 45 minutes so i don't think i could have got through that if i hadn't taken those naps because i didn't really sleep the night before but again like who knew like i wish i would have just known that like that's that's how the epidural worked that like it wasn't just a one shot deal it wasn't like it was going to to last the whole labor it wasn't like it was going to you know numb me out the whole time that it was going to wear off and that i would either have to ask for a top up or i would have to just experience the pain and again i mentioned this but i wish i would have known that they want the epidural to wear off at a certain point and i mentioned that like maybe it's dependent on the hospital but i wish that that again like would that have changed my decision would that have swayed my decision i don't know maybe it'll change yours knowing that like and maybe that's something that you should ask your doctor too and that i guess that I wish I would have known it about the epidural so that I could have talked to my doctor about it beforehand and asked like, hey, um, do you want the epidural? If I get an epidural, would you want it to wear off before I start pushing so that I can feel the baby come out? And maybe your doctor will say no, or maybe your doctor will say, yeah, like that's protocol and that's what we do. Um, again, like maybe that'll help sway your decision in terms of e if you even want to get the epidural. Because a lot of people say that like, getting the epidural will make labor just more difficult because you won't be able to feel the baby. It'll make pushing more difficult. I mean, I, my hands are up with that one. I don't know. You know, my epidural wore off. I still didn't feel my baby calming down the canal and I still had a really terrible experience. So I, I can't really like speak to that. But yeah, I wish I would have just known that they were eventually going to want the epidural to wear off anyway. Yes, like um, that leads me to my last point, which again I've mentioned that they all sort of like, they all sort of ball into one. But I wish I would have known that I was gonna feel pain and discomfort anyway. That I, this was the biggest one for me, I guess. That like I was under the impression that getting an epidural meant that I wasn't gonna experience any pain or discomfort like during labor, like when I was pushing him out, and that couldn't have been further from the truth. And I wish I would have known that just so I could prepare myself, I guess, mentally too. Like I was under the impression once I got my epidural that I was like home free. <laughs> and maybe that's naive or ignorant or whatever. I, it was my first baby. I didn't know. Um, but I wish I would have known that. I wish someone would have told me that because I guess mentally I could have prepared myself and been a little bit stronger um, in my mindset. Because I think it just sort of caught me off guard that I that they wanted the epidural to wear off and that I was going to be experiencing the pain of contractions um, because at the end of the day I was like all right so I'm having a natural childbirth really um, even though I got these drugs it like what was the point sort of thing um, but again like for me maybe the naps were worth it just like getting those those periods of time to rest so I don't know so yeah guys those are the things i wish i would have known about getting an epidural i hope you found this helpful especially if you are pregnant with your first and have never done like the whole labor and delivery thing before i wish i would have known these things about getting an epidural again i don't know if it would have changed my mind in terms of getting it but i think i could have been more prepared mentally and just like 
emotionally for that whole experience. And again, if you have any experience with an epidural or if you think of anything that I forgot or anything that you wish you would have known before you had it, um, definitely leave them down in the comments below. I think it'll be interesting to just share and read. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you all really soon. Bye, guys.